Welcome back to the video guys, my name is Daryl Wilson and today I'm going to be reviewing the Massive Dynamic King. Now if you guys have never heard of Massive Dynamic, it is actually on the list of Envato's 2018 best selling WordPress themes. Now if you guys are new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and there's a little bell next to it. If you guys click on that bell, it'll notify you when I upload a new video. Now let's just go ahead and dive into this. So the Massive Dynamic theme is probably one of the most underrated WordPress themes on this entire list. And how do I know that? Because I probably bought almost every single one of these themes. And Massive Dynamic is actually probably one of the only one that has its own page builder. Now, the theme itself, straight out of the box, is responsive. It has WooCommerce capabilities. And the WooCommerce capabilities are probably another very underrated feature about this theme because uh, you can actually design the category page and the shop page and product page. And with other themes, uh, you can't. I hate to say it, but uh, I'm a big Divi fan and Divi itself can't do what Massive Dynamic can. Now, let me just go ahead and show you guys how this page builder works and go ahead and kind of talk about the overall like um, uh, experience with this theme. So they use a page builder called Tatsu and the Tatsu is another page builder that basically allows you to create everything on the front end. <clears throat> so right here, you guys can see we have different elements and we can also add templates. And adding stuff and changing things, guys, are really, really simple. So for example, let's just say you're on the front end and you wanna go ahead and add in a section right here. Now they've actually have pre-built sections and you can go ahead and just take this section and just add it on. And a lot of other page builders like Elementor have added this on their website, I'm sorry, with their page builder as well. But Massive Dynamic was actually created with it. So these guys are pretty, they're pretty far in the future as far as uh, page building goes. So right here, let's just say you wanna take this and drag it in there. You can go ahead and take that section and then here you can go to adjust the padding. You can change the padding like that. And then also you have a live end editor as well. Now this right here is an icon box. So you guys can't, uh, you'll have to go ahead to the, um, you know, to this section right here and change it like uh, great experiences. And then click on apply. But they do have a front end editor. So the front end editor does work. So for example, let's just say you want to click on this and add in a text right here. like that and then here click to edit and then this is the best theme ever so just like divi there are other um, um widgets that you can't like self like you know change in the front or um, edit in the front but the theme overall includes a front end editor so you guys can go ahead and just kind of like mess around with like the you know change everything and then once you're done with that you can click on publish and then it'll go ahead and save your progress so again the page builder itself is probably one of the most intuitive page builders i've seen that was actually created um, I personally think it's much better than Visual Composer. I know there's a lot of Visual Composer fans out there that might be watching this because I'm talking about Envato, but uh, th this experience of page building is nothing short of amazing. In fact, I don't know why there's, no, why there's not more people talking about this because it's just so easy to, to make changes, you know? And again, the theme has a lot of different templates. Now let's go ahead and show you guys some of the templates that comes with this theme as well. All right, so right here we have import templates. And I think um, you guys also receive a lot of other plugins. In fact, if you guys go onto their page, it tells you that you guys receive up to $130 of extensions for free, including the Slider Revolution Master, uh, master Slider, which is a, another good uh, a slider. I'm probably gonna do a tutorial on that one too. In fact, I've actually reached out to the creators of that plugin uh, and they told me there's a big update coming out. So they told me just to wait for just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, here are some of their templates that you guys can use. There's a total of 66 uh, total. I haven't updated it, so there are some here that's not included. But let's just say I wanna go ahead and, uh, I don't know, use one of this right here. Now, the great part about this, guys, is that it'll import all of the settings as well. And it will override the settings. So if you have other settings, it's gonna go ahead and override it. Now, it does take some time to import these things. It could take um, a few minutes. It could take a minute, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this import. Okay, so it finished, and guys, it took about one minute to do, so it didn't take that long, right? So I'm gonna click on uh, Reload Now. And this should bring us to our new website. And this theme also comes with, like I think, like eight, eight or nine different headers. So this is our, uh, our current website now. Now guys, also right here on the left side right here, this is actually the theme customizer. So it's not like the default one that you get with WordPress. They've actually created their own customizer. So this right here is the theme customizer as well. 
So again, we have a fully functional website. Everything looks pretty good. And uh, again, you know, making changes to everything is just really, really simple. You can just go ahead and like click on click on something and just go ahead and make a change. So again, you guys are kind of getting the general understanding of it. Um, now, I want to show you guys some of like the header features as well. So right here we have this really nice menu. Um, because you can change virtually everything in this theme. So uh, they also have like a drop down and mega menu as well. And they have just like a basic standard header layout. So you guys can go ahead and change the header position. You can change the header width, the height, all this stuff right here. We have different styles of menus and they'll give you like a preview of what it looks like. So uh, I love that. And that, that right there is trending. You know, that right there, I love that. That one's good. The block one is really cool. And, you know, most themes I, I, I review uh, don't have that. Now, this right here is just like a basic, uh, a basic one. So it's, 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 it's full screen. I, I don't like it too much. It's, it's, not, 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 it's not my thing, you know, but there are websites that have that. This right here was the basic logo on top. And then this right here is their modern. But I kind of like their, that's good too. I like their block though. That, one, that one's really catchy, you know. I like that one. You know, look at that. That is good. So uh, again, the theme has a lot of really good features. Now there is one other thing I wanted to really talk about and emphasize is the um, is the WooCommerce capabilities, guys. This theme is really underrated for its WooCommerce capabilities, and I've seen a lot of other themes, um, you know, talk about well, we're WooCommerce compatible. But the problem is, is that they don't really work with the default WooCommerce pages. Massive Dynamic does. So right here, let's just say I want to go to the uh, shop page. Now, the great part is, guys, is that you see right here how it has shop categories. Usually with other themes out of the box, I hate to say even Divi, it will revert back to the old shop page. So virtually WooCommerce is kind of difficult, not unless you install some plugins and functionality, but uh, with Massive Dynamic, you can actually change all that. And guys, this stuff is super clean. Like this is a really clean uh, setup they have. And this is the template you get uh, with um, Massive Dynamic. So they have different shop pages and just depending on what you want, like maybe you want it like with the sidebar or you have like a, a shop two columns or you want to do like a three columns, they have different styles. So if you want to kind of like, you know, fit your criteria, maybe you're selling something really elegant, you might want just like a one page, um, you know, product page. Also remember they have the, they do have the parallax effect as well with this theme. So the theme comes with a lot of features. It has a very intuitive page builder. I can't stress that enough. The page builder itself won me over. When I saw the page builder, I'm saying that I win. Or no, you win, you know, because uh, the page builder makes everything easier for yourself. And when you have a page builder that you're comfortable with, that's all that matters. I've always said that before. And this page builder right here is very intuitive. And I feel that this is probably one of the most underrated WordPress themes out there that I have ever reviewed. So let me go ahead and quickly show you guys the actual, um, I'm going to exit this really quick. And I'm going to show you guys one more thing about the, uh, the footer as well. So right here, let's go to, I'll go back to customize and they give you a cool little default logo as well. So that's, that's also nice. Nice, nice of them to, to add in the logo. So here we have the footer section as well. And then again, we can scroll down right here and they have like the, you know, the go to top button. They have like the copyright button, the widget area, et cetera. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and whoop. All right, so this right here is like the footer section right here and you guys can change the footer layout. You can change the height of it. Um, you know, the all this stuff right here. So, you know, the footer is very customizable as well. You guys can also change like the menu style widgets. They have a bunch of different like settings that you guys can kind of go through. They even have parallax on the footer, which is really impressive. So again, I think that this theme really deserves way more credit than what it's getting. I think this theme is way better than Nevada. Like me personally, if you guys ask me um, about the themes on Envato, like what are the best themes? Guys, I still have no idea why Avada's number one. Um, even other YouTubers have been talking about that and there are way better alternatives. I would rather use uh, Elementor than Avada. Now, I, I don't wanna bash them in any way. I just, my personal opinion is they should not be number one because there's themes like uh, Flatsum who has its own page builder Onshine has its own page builder and Massive Dynamic does and they only use a back end editor and to make a website only with back end would take you a ton of time. So I think they might introduce maybe a front end builder in the future. If they do, that'd be great. But in the meantime, guys, I really think Massive Dynamic is definitely one of the themes to check out. It's only $39. 
I myself, you guys can see, have purchased it. I looked at a really good rating because um, it's just, it's so, it's, it's, it's intuitive. It's capable with WooCommerce and it does everything that you need. So again, go ahead and check out the Massive Dynamic theme. There is a link in the description uh, to this theme. I think it's great. It has a lot of good positive reviews. It's compatible with a lot of stuff and you get a lot of plugins when you purchase it. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and I will see you guys all later.